Hi guys, my name is Bart Kamski and this is update for my previous video when I'm overviewing first person template and I forgot about animations in that video so I'm doing it right here. I'm gonna tell you about animations in first person template. So let's select our first person character. Let's open it. Here we are, let's go to the viewport. I already delete the VR character from here so we have only one set of hands. And let's select our mesh right here. If we do it right here on the right side in details panel uh, under animation, it uses animation blueprint. So we can see animation class, first person animation blueprint. So we can just use magnifying glass and it will guide us to content, first person animations. And here is animation blueprint. So let's open it. And as we can see, the first thing we see probably because maybe you will see this but uh, here is a state machine and it starts with idle and here if we open it here is plugged idle where is my details here it is it is plugged my idle animation i can see it right here and i can again use magnifying glass and open this animation and this is just idle animation it's barely moving it's moving a, a little bit so it is right here entry it starts with this animation so if we don't do anything uh, this is our animation playing right uh, now so then there is uh, there are conditions going that way conditions is is moving so here is is moving bull and it goes to run so if I select we can see a preview here if I'm select is moving here and I set up default value which is false now I set it I set it up to true I can see that my animation is moving and from this it went here to run and if we open it again we check our animation here is our run animation okay let's go back to the uh, first person animation blueprint and let's go back to the state machine and again if is moving is true and then I stop moving so it goes to false it goes back to idle but if we are uh, uh, if we are running and then from running we can go to jump start and here is bull is in air and here is this and if we select it here it goes here jump start jump loop because I'm still in the air uh, because uh, it goes it goes from run to jump start here is our jump start animation yep it doesn't loop so so it it um, it glitches at the end it doesn't have to loop because it go it starts and then not here and then it goes to loop jump loop because there is a start animation and loop animation we are in the air and then there is jump and animation and this is is in air not in the air so now if we go if we set up is in air to false it went back to jump and and then again to either either goes to idle and then because I'm still running is moving is true goes straight from idle to run so there are two things here I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now uh, first person jump start asset time remaining so this function tells us uh, what uh, how many seconds remaining till the jump start animation ends so when it ends when it's less than 0.1 second it goes back to uh, to loop so is in there then it's jump loop jump end and again here is the same but if jump uh, end uh, animation uh, time remaining is less than 0.5 second then this is true so then from jump end it goes here so basically it's not moving 
Uh, and again, we can also uh, go to jumping to jump start either from idle right here or from running right here. This is the same ball is in air, no matter if you are idling, so staying or if we are running, if a bull is in air becomes true, then we uh, then jump animation starts and um, <clears throat> it starts. Then it goes to the loop after it's only 0.1 second till the jump start animation finished. This is true. And then 1 0.1 second uh, before it finished, it goes to loop. Then it stays in loop for how long is in air is true. And then if is in air is false, it goes back again to jump end because here is is in air no. So it goes back to jump end. And then again here, 0.1 second before jump and asset uh, uh, finish, it goes back to idle. And then either if we are moving, it goes to run, or if it's not moving, we are go back to idle. So basically that that's how animation uh, machine works in first person template. And we have two um, we have two variables uh, that uh, that works here is is moving and is in air. These are all booleans, but we need to gather this information from our first person character. So let's go in our animation uh, blueprint to event graph, and here we can see how these uh, booleans are set up. So basically what we got, this is even blueprint update animation is basically tick. It's, it's like tick, but for animation, first it checks if uh, pound owner is valid. Pound owner is our character. So this is our pound, uh, this is our owner. Um, so it checks if this is true, if, if it's valid. And then it gets character uh, component, uh, movement component, which is this right here. And then it checks if it's falling and it said is in is in air. Basically is falling is the same bull as is in air. Only the there is only a difference uh, in naming, but it's basically means the same. It's it, it is in there or is is falling. So it's not on the ground. It's not standing or running or whatever. And then again is is moving. So we get velocity, which is basically speed. It is vector. So it gives us not only the speed, but also direction. And so we get the vector length. So it gives us uh, not vector, but uh, float, which, which is only speed. We don't need direction anymore. And if speed is bigger than zero, then it is moving. And when it's moving again, this, uh, sorry, this one is uh, true. So this one is true, so it goes from idle to run. So it works like this. There was one small thing I missed in the last uh, video that was play sound at location. So first, oh, going back to animation, there's also montage play that every time we uh, press fire it Overlay this montage right here over this uh, animation uh, graph over everything we have here. So this we kind of add this animation to blueprints. We don't have to put it in the animation blueprint in state machine. So there's one way to do it. So there's his montage play every time we fire, every time we fire we spawn actor. I said this in the previous video, you can check it here and there is uh, also play sound at location sound is really simple it's just wave sound it, it doesn't it doesn't even have sound cue it is plugged right here uh, location is where our actor is uh, yeah <clears throat> there are some some other stuff here but these are set up to default you don't have to you don't have to change them yeah so that's the full overview of first person template guys thanks for watching you can subscribe to my channel for the next upcoming videos you can check my marketplace asset 
I'm, I'm doing sale right now. And you can check my Patreon account as well. That's pretty much all. Thanks for watching. See you next time.